Hello, this is Jessica from goodenoughandstuff.com. Today we'll be making rainbow cheesecake cookies. Let's get started. For the rainbow cream cheese frosting, you need two eight ounce packs of softened cream cheese, one stick of salted butter softened, and two cups of granulated sugar. Cream those together until the frosting is light and fluffy. I prefer granulated sugar instead of powdered sugar because it whips up fluffier and it doesn't have that added cornstarch flavor. And it is grainy at first, but it will melt in pretty quickly. Split your frosting into three bowls and add an eighth of a teaspoon of berry blue blast, black cherry, and lemonade plus some yellow food coloring. The powder is so concentrated you really don't need more than that. This comes out to a really pretty pastel color, but if you want a deeper color, just add some food coloring to it. Don't add more powder, it's way strong. Mix the frosting really well, and it's great to have some really cute hands to help you. Pull out a piece of saran wrap and ladle one color of your frosting into the middle. Try and smooth it more than I did so you don't get air pockets. Wrap the saran wrap around the frosting and then spin it to close the sides. Repeat with the other two colors. If you have a piping bag, grab one of those. If you have piping tips, grab some of those. For me personally, I don't wanna spend money on a piping bag. I had some piping tips from several years ago. I got it for one of my daughters for a present. We don't have any of the tips anymore. We just have these white things that go in there. So I'm gonna use those with no tip just to kind of reinforce the corner. Cut the ends off of just one side of your frosting rolls. Try and get all the colors to meet down into the corner evenly. Because I'm using a gallon bag, the colors kind of want to fall away from each other, so I need to keep them together at the corner. And the best thing I could think of was just to tape the bag with duct tape. <laughs> See, it looks great. Ooh, so pretty. In the video, you'll see that I'm making a half of a batch, but I'll tell you the quantities for a full batch of cookies. For the cookies, you need two sticks of butter softened, half a cup of dark brown sugar, and a cup of granulated sugar. Cream those together. Add two eggs, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of molasses. I forgot to add the molasses here, so I added it at the end. Dump in four cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and four teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And here's the molasses I forgot to add. Next, we'll roll out the cookies. For even cookies, look around your house for two things that are about a quarter of an inch thick. Place them on either side of your dough to keep your rolling pin from pressing down farther than that. I use four pieces of, an, of extra siding from a dollhouse I spent a ton of time on but never finished, and I just wrapped them in plastic wrap and they ended up being the perfect thickness for cookies. Roll your dough out in between two pieces of parchment paper or wax paper. This way you don't need extra flour to roll out the cookie dough and you don't even have to wash your rolling pin when you're done. Bonus! You can see that I'm keeping the rolling pin on top of the wooden guides on either side. Roll the body of the rolling pin with your hands rather than holding onto the handles because it'll slip around too much on the parchment paper.
Cut your dough out into shapes and bake at 350 degrees for about nine minutes or until the bottom is a little bit brown. Let the cookies cool, then frost them however you like. And you're finished with the cookies. Thanks for watching my video. Please share, comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my website, goodenoughandstuff.com, for this recipe and other easy recipes, simple crafts, and tips for a happy home. You can also sign up for my weekly newsletter and get notifications when I release content and free ebooks. Thanks for stopping by. Come back for the next video. I'll see you there.